One of these days, I'll be a real filmmaker who actually uses decent lighting. Hello, new friends. I'm back with another trick to hopefully make your post-production stock footage management life easier. This one is a little niche, but I've found myself using it a lot in my current project. All right, so we're using Pond5, which is awesome, great. They charge by clip, so that's a huge benefit in that you, you buy the clip and you can use it as many times as you want. Wonderful, but that can make cost tracking a little irritating because I've got this system for automatically porting in costs and such. So when you have duplicate clips, like right here, my automatic system pulls in the price twice and it makes it look like I'm spending more money than I actually am. I was trying to figure out how, what is the easiest way to identify the repeat shots without having to like eh, stare at the screen and make sure I'm actually catching all of the duplicates. And count if actually ends up being the solution I've used. Count if, and you choose the range. So in this case, it's G, bring it through G, and then G388. This formula is going to take a look at this whole range and count how many times the content of this specific cell appears. For some reason that's formatted all as money, but what? ever. Hmm? And you want to make sure that you put the dollar sign in front of the row so when it autofills below, it doesn't change the range. I always, I don't always forget it, but I often forget it. Okay, mystery is solved. So cool. Now, for, ignore the fact that these are all formatted as dollars. Uh, actually, let me just change that. So now I can filter out anything that's one because, you know, those only show up one time. And since I've got everything in order of source ID, I'm now only looking at the things that have duplicates and I can go, okay, that shows up two times. Well, this second one is a repeat. Shows up two times, the second one, repeat. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Oh, this one shows up three times. Repeat, repeat. And there we go. So now I've got an accurate count of how much I'm spending on Pond5. Like I said, this is a bit of a niche situation. I haven't really used count if that often before now. Um, but it's been super helpful in this current project. So I thought maybe it would help other people too. If you've been running into any issues that you think a computer might be able to do for you better, let me know in the comments. <laughs> no, Cthulhu, I need you to do that weird thing again, because I am still planning on doing the Smarty Cats YouTube series. So I need you to give me B-roll. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>